Okay, this is the fourth time I'm trying to do this now, but welcome to my survival world. I am back in here for another five minute episode. You can see that I've actually done a lot in here with all the half slabs on the top for some reason. Why would I do that? Oh, there's a head here too. Must mean I'm doing something in here. Uh, and yeah, as you can see, I have 33 wither skulls on me and nine nether stars. You can kind of suggest what project I've been up to. Okay, I did get it. Okay, so 10 stars. See, so yeah, I've defeated the Wither normally. Um, every single beacon in the world already has been defeated normally. Um, so there's four in the nether, and there's like a ton of bases with four beacons already there. So I defeated a lot, uh, quote unquote, legit. Um, all this half step stuff is for the Wither skeleton farm that I made. And that would be the biggest project since the last episode. If you could go to it, um, I used to take this route to the nether fortress, but now I have this, um, a staircase. It leads down to the very bottom. I still have some half stabbing in that direction, which is why that's open. But it leads down to the very bottom of the nether. Here is the end of my fortress before, and there's the farm and a few intersections of the fortress. And the farm itself. Um, the very uh, safe staircase down into the room itself. We can turn it on. I have two handy switches right here to help with that. Um, this route of torches goes up to the crusher, and this one goes up to the shifting floor up above. Um, I actually accidentally made the um, the cage too small, but also at the same time, the first part of the cage up top perfectly fits the first half of the farm and the second half fits the crusher and the drop for the wither skeletons. So you kind of see it's quite laggy in here. Um, it's laggy when I'm not recording too. But, oh, where are you going? We got, you see that the wither skeleton dropped and all the blazes are dying up there. Um, might be slow now because I still, oh, just got four of them. So yeah, it's uh, pretty efficient. Well, uh, this is interesting. This has never happened. Where did the gas spawn inside? I'll definitely need to fix that, but... Uh, yeah, you can see the top of the farm is not working right now. It's not on because of the lag, but... Um, okay, I can't kill that. Uh, so if you look through here, you can see that they spawn on the the red stained clay, and then the pistons push the whole floor. So what they were once standing red stained clay, they're now standing on fence. So they fall down to the next layer, and then at that same time that the blaze, the same amount of time it takes the blaze to all fall for the next layer, they get pushed again by the block they spawned on down the next. Uh, fences, down the next one, down the next one, and so on and so forth to the next part of the farm that moves them. Uh, it's basically tripwire that starts a clock and that quickly pushes them down a half slab staircase and then they get pushed into a kill chamber which uh, kills them. So all the beacons I went from all the wither heads I'm forming is for this part of the world and this is a witch hut surrounded by four sections and it's going to be the wealthiest area, as I mentioned before, with the enchanting table, enchanting area, and soon to be village area. But first up, I wanted to do a beacons to beaconify this whole area to give proper effects on every part of it. And I wanted two sets of four beacons in each section, so a total of 32 beacons. Eight in this quarter, eight in the quarter I'm standing in, eight in that quarter, and eight in that quarter. And I've gotten... I think I have enough wither heads, I just need to, you know, craft all the, uh, or fight all the bosses in that one very area, but, etc, etc, to get all the, uh, beacons, and then I have the iron already for my iron farm, and I already have eight beacons in this area itself, so I need, so eight, 
32 minus 8 is 24, 24 minus 10 is 14, so 14 more beacons, which is 14 more stars, which is 14 times 3, 42 more skulls, and I have 43 skulls. So, yep, just fight the bosses. I need soul sand for that, and then I need to uh, measure out where I want the actual coordinates. I want all these beacons and then lower them into the ground instead of being on the surface and then uh, add the glass for the final touch. So this would be cool.